Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Firmbus Coach Simulator. Today we're down in Arlberg, no we're not, we're in Colding. We're going to be driving to Arlberg and we're going to be going via Aarhus. Uh, we're looking at the recently released Denmark DLC. We've already been to Esberg and Copenhagen. We're now going to be doing the final trip on uh, on this route. Uh, and we're going to be using the Cetra Comfort class. Now this is... Uh... Oh, hang on a second, there we go. Yeah, get your luggage in there, there we go. Yeah, this is one of my favourite favourite buses that is currently available. I just quite like the way it drives, I think it's a good looking coach, it comes with a nice uh, array of liveries. We're using the, uh, I mean it's clearly the Tui livery isn't it? It's called Yay. Uh, it's a livery that is very much based on the Tui livery. livery. I imagine they couldn't get copyright, but uh, yeah I did have a nice livery downloaded and for some reason uh, it didn't appear. In game. Yeah, disappointing. Right, let's get that shut. Got the doors open at the back, haven't we? Let's not forget those. F9, F10. And then if I click escape, I can click start ride. Don't know what that does, but off we go. Let's uh, let's get the ignition started. Engine started. All is good. Full steam ahead. I have noticed since we last drove it, I don't know if they've updated it or, or what, but it does seem to be quite a uh, wee up over the curb. It does seem quite jerky now in the gear changes. I'm sure it never used to be like that. But it is now. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, right, I'll tell you what we'll do. So this is that bit that was always quite queued up with traffic, isn't it? Because last time we went left and round. I think what we'll do is go left again. If we can get out. I don't think we can. Nobody for uh, nobody for letting us out. I love how they all break simultaneously at the same time. There's not like a yeah that that was real nice of you, pal. I'll tell you what we could do. We could go right. This is the problem with firm bus people. You know it's great until it's not. Right. We'll just come down this little lane here. Let's just, let's just go into the settings and see. Can can we turn down the level of traffic? I wonder. Because uh, there is quite a lot of traffic, isn't there? Uh, AI traffic density. Let's just turn that down to 50%. How, how are you feeling about that? We'll just start moving now. I guess they're already spawned in, aren't they? We're just going to cut in front of you, sir. I hope you don't mind. Yep, it appears that we are gridlocked. Anybody moving down there? No. Right, okay. Well, we're going to have to take matters into our own hands then, aren't we? Because the traffic's not moving because of this little chap here. He's blocking the way. And none of them can move because he's blocking him turning in there. Yeah, it's... It is a bit of a catastrophe this morning. Right, off we go. We're, we're going to take matters into our own hands. Hopefully there's no, like, invisible wall here that prevents you from driving over the curb. It's a shame because... Because curbs don't hit. I think you'll find I've not hit the... Oh, hang on. Right, there's an invisible wall that prevents me from going through this gap. Is there? No. Right, we're off. Oh, we're looking then. The roads are clear ahead. Yeah, the the motorway... I've said it before and I've said it again. The uh, the, the motorway aspect of Fernbus is really, really enjoyable. The towns, they're just too narrow. There's too many cars. They're very poorly optimised for traffic. Um, it does make instances like that. I mean, now we've turned the traffic density down, there's no cars on the road at all. You know, 50%, you'd still expect to see some cars, wouldn't you? But uh, it appears that that's not the case. I've not gone that other way that I said it was going to go. Okay, there's a couple of cars there. We'll let it off. But, uh, yeah, I, I just find the whole town situation quite... You know, it's, it, it takes away the enjoyment for me. I have to admit, this Cetra's nippy, isn't it? Sorry, the uh, the Comfort class. There's no uh, there's no Cetra logo in the middle of the steering wheel because I don't think they got licensing for it. Which is a shame, actually, because they've got licensing for so many of the other coaches. It's the same shame uh, Cetra didn't want to play ball. Right, off we go towards Burkerdam. Oh, hang on. Is it shut? We'll go down here then, I suppose. 
on to the motorway. So we're going to, is it Aarhus that's our next stop? I think it probably is. Oh hang on, this is looking a little bit, a uh, little bit sharp. We'll just take it easy around that corner, lovely. Full steam ahead onto the motorway everybody. See this is where traffic density should be 100% because I've never found that we've struggled with the amount of traffic on the motorway. Just give it to you. Somebody's hacking up a lung in the back there, goodness me. Right, what I do want to do, can we get a, can we get a nice photo? We don't have a photo mode on this, do we? Oh, we do, there's a way that you can do it. Is it, is it home? Ah, there we go. Love photo mode. Let's have a, a little bit of a, less of a field of view. Lovely. Screenshot has been captured. Right, back to it. Nearly wrote that van off in our left mirror there. Ah, we were in photo mode, it's fine. It does look like as well that this is another coach that is limited to 100 kilometers an hour, so I can just sit here with my foot to the floor. Whee! We definitely have uh, grounded out the suspension there. Right, so we need to be in the left-hand lane for Aarhus. Like soon rather than later. Oh, we got that white van in the end. <laughs> That's why you should fasten your seatbelt. Exactly, generic passenger. Exactly. Right, we'll go this way. Oh, don't break. What are you doing? Oh, so you let other people in, just not buses. Right, we're going for the overtake again. Cheeky overtake, seeing as they're all taking their time. We've got places to be, we've got a timetable to stick to. Oh, uh, well there wasn't much point in that, was there? It's another thing, I do sometimes feel like the, the roads on Fernbus are just not quite as realistic as they could be. You know, like, would that, would that lane come out and then go back in straight away? It just... What's happening here? Oh, for goodness sake. That tanker's going to hold us up all the way there, isn't it? Oh, man, uh, regional coach bus thing on the other side there. Oh, we've got, uh, we've beaten the limiter by one kilometre an hour because we're going downhill. Blasting along in our definitely not a two-week coach. I love it. It's quite nice as well not to drive a triaxle for a change. You know, I, 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 I'm terrified of triaxle buses and coaches. So uh, yeah, it really does make a nice change not to have to do that. Just nip across into this lane. Oh, another Flix bus. Comfort class going the other way. That's that white van that we crashed into. He's probably act off, isn't he? Right, we're going to need to be in the left lane again. Can we... Oh! We really are putting our suspension uh, of this coach through its paces today, aren't we? Oh, and left again. Very bizarre junction. I'm sure we'd have snapped something, uh, something by now. Shock absorber would have gone bang. Yeah, they could do with smoothing the roads out a little bit more, couldn't they? Ooh, got a couple of tower blocks on the right there. Is this some sort of city that we're passing that's not on the map? I wonder if it says... No. There's a little flag though, and it is waving, which is quite nice. Oh, 
Oh, we've got a, uh, another MAM with bright green wheels going the other way. Wow, funky. They do that a lot, do MAM, don't they? They put the, uh, the, the hubcaps on the buses. It can often make them look quite cheap and tacky. You know, I, th I think, like, some nice... I mean, I, I guess you don't really have alloy wheels on a coach, do you? But, yeah, the, the hubcaps, I get why they do it. Uh, but, yeah, it, it really does make them look quite cheap sometimes with the plastic wheels. Ooh. Obviously, they do it uh, for aerodynamics as well, uh, as well as protecting the, uh, the wheels underneath. Uh, the metal on the wheels underneath, but, uh, and I guess a coach, it's not really there to look expensive, is it? You know, it doesn't really matter if it looks cheap. If you've got it on your, uh, on your Bentley, plastic upcaps on, you'd probably be a little bit naffed off, wouldn't you? Right, we're coming across. Thank you. Yeah, if you had plastic upcaps on your Bentley, you'd probably be a little bit naffed off, but, uh, on a Mercedes-Benz Citaro, it's not the end of the world, is it? Wobbling around the corner. Oh, is this a VDL of some sort? It's the VDL double decker, isn't it? Keep powering along. Give him a little beep beep as we go past. Oh, he's not got the orange on his. He's lost it. It's just a plain green livery. Oh, wow! Are we going past an airport by any chance? That plane is awfully close. Why is there no, um... Oh, there is a little barrier. I was going to say, that's, uh... Should that really be parked there? I didn't realise they could park, like, A330s on grass. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, oh, we're coming off here, so we'll just nip across. Ah, CS. I'm assuming CS or C5 is, uh, is the name of the road. Hang on, doesn't... Wasn't that the the fast lane that's now the slow lane uh, that's now the hard shoulder why is the hard shoulder on the wrong side what's happening I'm back in the hard shoulder again this is ridiculous have they put the road in the wrong way round that's quite poor if they have I thought I was imagining it for a second but yeah the, the hard shoulder just swapped sides didn't it That's uh, quite poor attention to detail there. I just imagine it to be quite a hot day today. Just that sky looks really quite warm and inviting, doesn't it? is yet to spawn in. I was going to say it looks quite barren, doesn't it, down here? Almost desert-like. Yeah, the, uh, it's it's one of them, because it's on is it on the Unreal Engine, this? And Trent's in World does the same. The, the flora can only spawn in, like, ten metres in front of you. It's very weird. Very weird way of doing it. We'd better slow down, haven't we, because we are Glyphos. speeding. Glyphos. Is that what he said? Glyphos? Right, we're just going to nip into this lane, because we need to go forward, not left. Oh no! Oh, we've committed. We've got places to be. Oh, there's nobody around, is there? We're gliding in and out of town now, now that uh, we've turned the traffic down. Why does everyone have hearing aid coloured vehicles in, uh, in Aarhus? That's two uh, hearing aid vehicles we've passed. One of them a little hatchback and one of them a van. Probably called Cafe Ole. Last year, when we went to um, Tenerife, we hired a little Vauxhall Adam, and that was in uh, Cafe Ole here in a beige. No, oh, this is an interesting bit of road. It's like uh, flat. There's no, uh, you know, the, the things are just drawn on. Oh, hang on, what, what light? Light accident into what? There's nothing there. I guess Aarhus must be like a port? This looks very boat-like, doesn't it? Right, hang on, so we're, we're picking up there, so we... We're just turning around here. That'll do.
Right. Off we go. Doors open. Everybody off. Well, unless you want to stay on, in which case, stay on. Come on then, check in, love. Uh, oh, have you just got off, right? Okie dokie, mine ticket. Should it not be mine, Far Carter? Sehr freundlich. I must be very friendly. Right, excuse me, madam. Right, we've actually got everybody on the correct bus. Right, get that down. All good, yet yeah, three to get off. How many have we actually got on? We've got quite a few. I've never seen one of these buses full, ever, on uh, on firm bus. Right, off we go. Take the handbrake off. Off we go. Right, so we're going back out of Aarhus now to Aalborg. Trying not to crash into anything else, any other invisible walls that uh, the devs have put in for us. Quite nice, isn't it? I like that, although a safety railing won't go amiss. How many people do you reckon have fallen off there? I don't mind waiting in traffic if there's like a promise that the traffic's actually going to move. <laughs> you know, like it is doing. Who is it? Right, I think we'll probably be going left. No, right, okie dokie. There we go, we'll get through the next set of lights, won't we? So we're actually in Arhus now. We've come in this way and round. And then we're just going straight back out and up to Arborg. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. better. I think turning traffic density down really was the correct thing to do. Thank you for whoever suggested that. Did someone suggest that? Probably. It's not something I'd have thought of myself, is it? Let's face it. So hang on, we need to be in the right-hand lane if we're going straight on. That'll do. Heck, you can't turn left for very long, can you? Flippy neck. I think we've just missed the lights, haven't we? We've just missed a cycle. Right, off we go. Oh, you were on the turning right. It's a shame we can't do right on red like the Americans, isn't it? It's not the uh, not the swiftest of gear changes is it on the uh, on the comfort class <laughs> oh even I can't commit through those lights yep all right there we go we'll uh, we'll come to a look at that what a gentle stop that was oh practically a professional
Right, full steam ahead. Go, go, go! Alborg, here we come. I mean, if my video's to be half an hour long, we need to get there in ten minutes. I don't think that's going to happen. But we'll give it a good go. Look, another one with bright green wheels. <laughs> I love it. Out of all the colours you could possibly have. Bright green, fantastic. Just nip across into this lane, because you're not going fast enough, good sir. Come on, get out of the way! God, what's this about? Why is everyone going so slowly? Oh, hang on, more people, right, okie dokie. What's this, like, 22 kilometres an hour on a motorway? Are we, are we meant to be doing this? This is a bit painful. Just, just marginally. Oh, we're speeding up now. Right. <laughs> oh, this game. Fairbus didn't used to be that bad. They seem to have looked at uh, Bus Simulator 21 and thought, Do you know what? That is the level of... Uh, that is the standard that we wish to uh, implement in our game. I'm sure everything's got worse on Firm Bus. Maybe I've just sort of come to expect a little bit more from other games such as The Bus. Because TML have obviously developed The Bus, haven't they? And that's absolutely fantastic. Maybe I just forgot. But no, I always seem to remember that this was brilliant. And, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm still enjoying the DLC. It's not a bad DLC for the price. You get plenty of driving. this. Oh, it's a red van with no wheels. I thought it was like some sort of trailer on the back. He's got no wheels, look. He's floating along. Oh, wheels are there now. Just nip out here to go past this lorry. Because of the other slow drivers, occasionally I do feel like Michael Schumacher of the coach driving world. Oh, the vans have got no wheels again. And this is with the graphics set on the highest setting. Slow down, let this chap pass in the, in the white van. It's probably the same chap that we smashed into last time in the white van. Oh no, it's a different type of van. It was like that van on the right, wasn't it, that we crashed into earlier. Just nip across. There'll be no undertaking, thank you, Mr. Van. Nice drive, isn't it? There's another red bus in front. I'm sure that... Have we not overtaken that red bus already? Maybe that didn't go into Arthas. That went straight past. I'm going to go for the overtake again. But we're not catching him up, are we? So, you know, he might just be sat on the limiter as well, like we are. Let's just pop across. Scanny a lorry going the other way. I wonder if they've got licensing for that. 
Because they've got the Scania Touring, haven't they? Oh, there's a coach parts up over there, look, a DB Intercity one. I'm sure we drove that not too long ago, didn't we? Why has it got green wheels? Oh, all the AI MANs seem to have bright green wheels, it would appear. I wonder why. <laughs> it just seems so bizarre that the game would do that. No idea. Easy, isn't it? Have we got our lights on? There we go, that'll do. We've got our lights on, although I think they might be our full beams. Side lights, like, yeah, there we go, that'll do. So this is the sort of thing we could do with, like, if you look down you can see that there's Flash Base FM. Oh no, hang on, maybe there's not. It was on, oh it's just there, Flash Base FM online. This game would be a lot better if we had the music just playing in the background, but unfortunately YouTube would crucify me if I had, because uh, obviously I haven't got licensing to do that. But yeah, this game is definitely improved when you've got the radio and, uh, and a song comes on and you can just have a little sing song while you're driving down the motorway. It's, it is good. Life is a highway blasting out as you uh, as you're driving down, <laughs> driving down the motorway. It, it does improve it. I have to admit, you can often feel like when you're driving it like I am with no music in the background, it, it can sort of feel a little bit, a little bit empty. But we've nearly caught up to this Scania Touring. We didn't pass a Scania Touring earlier, did we? It was was it a double decker red one? I can't remember to tell you the truth. Mad X on the right there. It says Flixbus. I didn't know Flixbus did plain red buses. Obviously they do. Oh no, it's just got Flixbus on the uh, on the glass. It's an Acker Roots. We'll go with Acer maybe. Maybe not Acker. Sounds a bit like the Acker Bull Code, doesn't it? Oh, hell's bells, we're, uh, we're coming up to this quick. Right, we'll just nip over there. Good lord, right, it's 80 kilometres an hour. Was there a sign for the 80? I don't remember seeing it. whizzing down into uh, Aalborg now. It's a shame because although there's been quite a few bugs, I have really enjoyed our little uh, firm bus playthrough these past couple of weeks. We'll have to get them to make another DLC, won't we? I mean, I am looking forward because they're, they're making a DLC for, uh, is it Hamburg that they're making for the bus? I think that'd be quite good, providing the add shoulders all stay on the same side. But uh, yeah, I am I am really looking forward to that. So uh, there's all that to come. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they'll maybe make another DLC for Fernbus. It's a shame because a lot of people will probably have seen you know these recent videos and subscribed. But Fernbus is is not something we're probably going to be coming back to now because we've sort of exhausted it, haven't we? Unless there's new DLC, of course, new coaches, new. You know, new something or other. It's not one of those games like Umzi. You can just come back to that again and again, can't you? And you can drive different buses on different routes, and it's it, you know, it's brilliant fun. Firm bus. I sort of feel like, you know, like I've said in the past, there's not a lot that keeps bringing me back to this game. Like Euro Lorries, I love that. I can keep playing that, you know, till the cows come home. It's awesome. 
but firm bus I never feel like you know I sort of feel like once you've driven to one city you've driven to all of them if you get what I mean so uh, yeah there might be a little bit of a gap now between this this could be the last firm bus episode ever if they stop developing for it it's the thing with TML products isn't it the uh, as soon as one sets off they all set off and when they break they all like nod how oh, are you letting me go thank you sir kind of feel like he didn't feel like he had much of a choice what's this down here a, a, a bus station oh wow a bus station with a couple of buses in that's nice oh hang on right I like it we've got the Neo plan we've got the MAN right, hang on where are we we're going down there oh hang on yeah there we go I hope everyone stayed seated until the bus comes to a stop. You might have been flung across the coach there. It's nice that there's a few more, like, decorative buses. Right, there we go. Into neutral. Engine off. Doors open. Right, well, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I do hope you enjoyed that. If you did enjoy the video, please click the like button. And uh, do consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future bus simulation action. Like I say, I can't promise that uh, it'll be firm bus, but there will be other bus and coach and truck simulators, plenty of driving simulators to keep us busy. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.